this is a body of the lateral ventricle and this is a body of corpus callosum. Okay? So this is the top one. This is the one just below it. So here you can see the body of the corpus callosum and attached to it is part of the septum callosa in this area. It's cut. Here you can see the genu of the corpus callosum and the splenium is there and cut. Why I'm saying this is geno and this is plenium? Because I know this is frontal fold, this is occipital fold. How to decide? You can see there's a dark structure here. That's the head of caudate. Head of caudate. Head of caudate nucleus is directed more rostrally, more anteriorly. So this is anterior. And you can see lateral to the head of caudate, this is the anterior limb of internal capsule. Here it is. Lateral to it, you can see this is a putamen, just a putamen, not the whole lengthy form because you don't get the whole elliptic form in all levels. You see the putamen above and below it. You have any question on this one? You started also seeing the insula, so the insula is seen very well. This one is actually two sections, one above and one below, because it's thick. So flip it over, you can see two levels. This level, you can see also the genium of corpus callosum, splenium of corpus callosum, and here is the septum pilostum. This is a cross of fornix. It unites to make the body of fornix at this point. Here you can see the head of caudate nucleus. This is the anterior limb of internal capsule, genu, and posterior limb of internal capsule. This is the retro lentiform part of the internal capsule where you have the optic radiation. This is a insula, insula cortex, gray matter, insular white matter, which is called extreme capsule, claustrum, which is gray matter, and then external capsule. Where's the external capsule? It's this part, medial to the claustrum. So if you look in the model, you can see this is the insula, gray matter of insula. Can you see it? Yes. This is the insular white matter, which is called extreme capsule. Here is the claustrum, which is the gray matter. External capsule is medial to the claustrum. And this is the internal capsule. So actually, the lentiform nucleus is surrounded by two capsules, internal medially and external laterally. Here you can see this is a putamen. This is the globus pallidus with lateral segment and medial segment. This is the anterior limb of internal capsule. This is the genu. This is the posterior limb of internal capsule. This is a retro lentiform part of the internal capsule which has the optic radiation running in it. This is a trigon or atrium of the lateral ventricle. It has choroid plexus and you can see this is a cross of fornix. Cross of fornix. Can you see it? Can you see it? This is a cross of fornix. This midline structure is the pineal body or pineal gland and this space is the third ventricle. Here is thalamus, another thalamus. These two rounded structures are not the mammary body. These are the continuation of the fornix anteriorly. It's making postcommissural fibers. So you have the column of fornix dividing into postcommissural fibers and precommissural fibers that are surrounding the anterior commission. Here is the anterior commission. Okay? This is the head of collate nucleus. Any question? So we finish that level with the exception of one thing, which is this dark part here. This dark part is the tail of caudate nucleus. Tail of caudate. I mentioned anteriorly here the head of caudate, this is the tail of caudate. Tail of caudate is actually at the roof of the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. This cut is oblique. That means this is the lower level, this is the higher level. This is lower level because you can see the details of the lentiform nucleus. This is a higher level because you can't see anything except the anterior limb of the capsule. So actually when you make a cut, you hold the brain like this, and you don't actually have a machine that will cut transversely like this in a horizontal fashion, so you put the brain in this way. And you hold the knife and make the cuts. So you have horizontal sections. If this brain is oblique a little bit like this or there, then you'll have two levels in the same section. That's what's happening here. This is a higher level, this is a lower level. And when you flip it over, 
you will get two levels. This is a lower level, this is a higher level. Why I'm saying this is a lower level? Because here you can see the amygdala. This is the amygdala at the tip of the inferior horn of lateral ventricle. Here is the inferior horn of lateral ventricle. This is a hippocampal formation, hippocampus. You can see the tail of caudate nucleus is here. This is the lateral genicular body, and this is the medial genicular body. Lateral genicular body and medial genicular body, they make something called metathalamus. It's below the thalamus. So actually, when you do horizontal section, you can't take or see the genicular bodies and the thalamus in one level. But when you do coronal section, you will see both of them in the same section. This is the midbrain, superior colliculus, cerebral aqueduct, periaqueductal gray. Here is the red nucleus. This is the substantia nigra and cross cerebri. Cross cerebri. This is the interpeduncular fossa. Interpeduncular fossa. And the mammillary body are here in the depths of the interpeduncular fossa. If you look, this is one, and this is the second mammillary body. The part that is running here, that's the anterior commissure. Anterior commissure. It's running from one side to the other. Anterior commissure. Can you please show me this What? Here. This one. This one. And this is a cross rib. Lateral. Do you have any question? Lastly, this is similar to this. You can see the hippocampal formation, the inferior horn of lateral ventricle. This is a retro, yeah, retro lentiform part of internal capsule that has optic radiation. And is it a part of the optic radiation? The part of optic radiation is one of the contents of the retro lentiform part of internal capsule. Okay. So the retro lentiform part has many things. One of them is the optic radiation. Any question? This is the first level, just see, taking the upper part, showing the two cerebral hemispheres. Then you can see the body of lateral ventricle and the septum colostrum, genu and splenium of corpus callosum, head of caudate, body of caudate nucleus. And this is the anterior limb of internal capsule. Head of caudate, this one I mentioned before. Head of caudate and the details of the lentiform nucleus, the thalamus, and you can see the two crura of the fornix and the pineal third ventricle. Here is the same, and you can see all the details I mentioned, external, extreme capsule, claustrum, external capsule, putamen, and Globus pallidus, anterior limb, internal capsule, genu, posterior limb, thalamus. These are the two crurie making the body of fornix. And this is septum pilosidum. Here you can see the amygdala. This is the amygdala. And the, here is the hippocampal formation. This is the inferior horn of lateral ventricle with choroid plexus inside it. This is cerebral aqueduct, superior colliculus, red nucleus. Substantia nigra, cross cerebri, and here are the mammary bodies and the infundibulum of the uh, pituitary gland. This is the optic chiasm, optic tract, optic nerve. What is the vessel here? Middle cerebral. Middle cerebral. And this one? Anterior cerebral. So this is anterior cerebral, this is the middle cerebral arc. What is this? Vermis of cerebellum, superior vermis, because it's a midline structure, so it's a vermis, and it's superior because it's a top of the cerebellum. Um, this cerebellum is the singulate gyrus. Yes. Here it is. This is a geno of corpus callosum. This is a singulate gyrus. This is a callosal sulcus. This is a singulate sulcus. Okay. And if there is a vessel here, that will be the. Anterior cerebral 
here is the same, nothing new. Any question? Thank you.